New trouble for Rutgers University scandal scarred sports program. In fact, a bombshell report is out this morning about the new athletic director brought in to repair the school's badly damaged reputation. She's now facing serious accusations about how she treated her players. And ABC's Gio Benitez has been working this story overnight. Gio, good morning. David, good morning to you. And this morning, for the first time, we're hearing from one of Julie Herman's former players. She and others describe what they call mental abuse. And now Governor Chris Christie wants to know more. She's the woman Rutgers hired to turn the athletic department around, following the damning video of Coach Mike Rice berating students, shocking the nation just two months ago. But this morning, new questions about how Julie Herman treated some of her players 16 years ago as head coach of the women's volleyball team at the University of Tennessee. Kelly Hanlon Dow was on that team. She told us that we're fat, we're stupid, we're alcoholics, not letting us shower or eat from our road trip from Florida to Tennessee. Hanlon Dow and 14 other women first spoke out in a New Jersey Star-Ledger report. Now, New Jersey State Senator Raymond Lesniak wants Herman to resign. And Governor Chris Christie wants to talk to Rutgers about the allegations. It was no longer worth the scholarship. It was no longer worth playing volleyball. Uh, we didn't care what happened. We just could no longer play under those circumstances as a team. The women say that in 1997, they detailed the alleged abuse in a letter to the Tennessee athletic director. The Star-Ledger says Herman quit. Just days ago, Star-Ledger reporter Craig Wolf confronted Herman with the allegations. Her first response was, wow, that's not familiar to me. And this, when Herman was named Rutgers athletic director, a reporter asked about a video mentioned in the 1997 lawsuit. An assistant coach arguing Herman fired her when she became pregnant. This is the video of Herman at that employee's wedding. But when asked about that video. There's a video. I'm sorry, did you say there's a video? <laughs> there's no video, trust me. And that lawsuit was settled, by the way. Meanwhile, we requested comment from Herman through Rutgers and her assistant, but have not heard back. The question this morning, did Rutgers know about the allegations before hiring Herman? And David, we still have not heard back from the university just yet. Wow, but that video looming large in this case. Right. Thanks to you.